Hello, we are live. Can you hear them? Is that a thing I should be worried about? Maybe I should lower my mic. I don't I don't I don't know. I can't tell. But we're back. We're gonna do some Ryakuza sub stories, mini games, whatever else is available to us. We'll just see and kind of just go from there. Last time we had a really rough adventure with that 30 minute fight with the fucking what do you call it? It was a 30 minute fight with the the kiss dudes, the, the metal dudes, and it was a fucking pain. They were strong and they kept calling for backup, which was so fucking annoying. I'm ready to kick ass. Okay, Psycho, relax. Okay. Junji, relax as well. So yeah, we're just doing any mini 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 sub story sub stories or quests that pop along the way. Um Got a bunch all around. There's one here, which I think we should do because it's just at the start. I don't want to plant anything. Thank you. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, check that fruit out. Didn't notice this was a persimmon tree. Yeah, Didn't notice it was a Ben Simmons tree. One, ain't it? Hello there. Hmm. Are you out for a stroll too? It's the perfect weather for it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kanachan. <sighs> you guys taking a walk too? Yes, staying cooped up in the house doesn't do much for one's health. So we step out for a walk from time to time. Oh, cool. Not like it matters. I'm going to die soon. Oh my life. Jesus, what's up, Nick? Once that persimmon falls from that tree. My life is over. Welcome to this heavy ass start to the, to the game. Nonsense. What? Sorry about that. No, don't sweat it. Well, if you'll excuse us, let's go, Kanachan. Uh, I finished the game, Nick. We've completed it like last year or something. My girl. I haven't played or watched just yet. Good. Um, what you're gonna get from me today is just some. When the persimmon falls from the branch. Um, yeah, what we're gonna get, what you're gonna get for me is just side stories, sub, or side quests, or sub stories is what they call it here. Um, and just any mini games that I fancy of doing. I don't really want to start a new game. It's kind of not the vibe right now. Because, you know, with December coming up and everything, it's gonna be so busy that I can't promise to complete a new game. So, we're just gonna play. Do the, do the side stories that I wasn't able to explore when I was doing the main quests back in like 2021. Um, I don't know if there's a taxi around here. This taxi is not bad. We're so close. We should just go walk up. Man, yeah, how are you, Nick? It's nice to see you. Welcome back. I played this last night, and one of the fights took me literally 30 minutes to do because. They were strong, they had a lot of health, we weren't hitting hard enough, and uh, they kept calling for backup, which was annoying. Are they all just Yakuza's? Yeah, they're just, they're all ordinary Yakuza's. Is this year for this game modern? Is the year for this game modern? Yes! So this is current, I think, or like at least 2010. I know I had a thing about this when we first. Wait, I gotta double check. When is Yakuza Like a Dragon set? 2019. So yeah, pretty, pretty recent. Every time. 
big time skip from the 90s to 2019. Well, it follows after Yakuza 6, right? And Yakuza 6 ended in like 2010 or something. Around that t oh, I should have known it was like 2010. How old is Haruka? But around that time is when it like happened. So the time skip here would have been like yeah, actually eight nine years is still pretty big, but. Kasuga, or Ichi, the main character. He also went to prison, just like Kiryu did. I didn't set my thing. He went to prison like Kiryu, taking the fall for his boss, for... Or someone in his family. Um, for something that he didn't do, obviously, but only because he's being a good Yakuza member. They're all weak. But he's also protected. Can he move? Damn it! Bring it on. I'm just scared of the bomb guy. Oh, there we go. Watch me. You're gonna get Cognitive enhancer? You're gonna be in a world Station. I have good news and bad news. What? Here we go. Which one do you want to hear first? They always ask that in foreign dramas. I'd want to hear the bad news first. Just get it out of the way. Same. Bad news for me, too. I'd rather not have any unpleasant aftertaste. I'd want to hear the good news. I always eat my favorite stuff first. Don't leave us hanging, Adachi san. What's the news? Well, the good news is I just learned something about you guys. And the bad news? There's no punchline to this bit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they even called it a bit. God damn it. <coughs> always go for the bad news first. Yeah, I'd always try to go for the bad news first if possible. Oh, we don't have a lot of Arigato water still. Gozaimashita. We gonna fight some more? Relax, guys. We got sub stories to do. I like to tell people bad news there is. I like to tell people bad news is there is no. If there is no bad news, you're gonna say there's good news and bad news, but there's no bad news at all. Watch me. Lol. Yeah, she's much stronger back to her regular self. He's back. He's still here. Hello. Yo. Hey. You're that guy from before. Your manager admitted to everything. Huh? It'll be out to the public soon. Then you'll finally be able to put this all behind you. You can get back to playing baseball again. Pretty cool, huh? <sighs> no. That was still my fault. I have no intention of returning to the field. <sighs> You gotta be so stubborn. <sighs> sure, my manager may have given me the order. But in the end, I'm still the one that went through with it. <laughs> no matter what my manager said, if I hadn't done it, 
None of this would have happened. <sighs> you don't understand. Baseball is sacred. And I ended up betraying it. Whatever the world says, I don't have any right to play the game ever again. <sighs> Not after putting Hanayama out of the game like that. Hey, hey! Don't act like I'm down and out just yet. Huh? Don't act like I died. Yama. <laughs> Still stubborn as hell, eh, Anzai? Oh my god. Hanayama. Hanayama. I'm so sorry. Anzai. No! I gotta say this. I took away baseball from you. Even knowing how much you loved it. I am truly... Terribly sorry. Like I just said, don't talk about me like I'm out for good. It's not over for me yet. You haven't taken anything from me. Huh? I can't say this doesn't hurt. But I'll recover. And I'll make my triumphant return. Just watch. The fans will be sad if I don't. And what's worse, my good friend will just stay depressed. Hanayama. Whether you come back or not, that's up to you to decide. Either way, just keep this in mind. When I step back out on the field, it won't be the same game if you're not in it. <sighs> Hanayama. You're not gonna make it up to me by moping around, are you? If you wanna make it right, then do it on the diamond. We're baseball guys, aren't we? <laughs> come on, Anzai, don't worry about it. Why don't we give it another crack? We'll climb back up together. Why? Why would you ever be willing to forgive someone like me? Well, that's what friends do, right? Hanayama. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Good thing there's no crying in baseball. Kasuka. <laughs> Home run heroism done. Oh, nice. We have Hanayama. <clears throat> Easy 5.6k yen to make every every May 10 seconds. I wish that was that easy. Yeah, man. Imagine you could just do and get that much money. Just 50 bucks in like 10 seconds. There's a lot of crying in baseball. I know. And he was a superstar player. So that sub story was essentially the dude um, like targeting his friend because his coach told him to. And his coach had like Yakuza ties, so if he didn't follow his coach, his coach would like essentially take him out. And yeah, I don't know. I don't get baseball. People say it's sacred and there's rules and shit to follow, but they're all just assholes and pieces of shit. Excuse me. You wouldn't be Ichiban Kasuga, would you? Huh? Huh? I mean, yeah, that's me. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name's Kaede Tono. I knew I'd get to see you again someday. What? Hey, um, Kaede chan. Sorry, but do we know each other? We did meet once, a long time ago. I was assaulted on the streets of Kamurocho, but you came to my rescue before any harm was done. Kamurocho. You sure it was me you ran into? My memory's kind of hazy on that. Uh, well, I, I guess it's not that important. It was a long time ago. Uh, that sucks. Thought I'd remember helping out such a cutie. Oh, please. Cute is the last thing I am. Anyway, I, I didn't get the chance to thank you back then. I just couldn't say anything at the time. Well, it's nice that you still remember me. But you know, if we were both in Comrade Show, why didn't we run into each other again? Uh, that's the thing. I rarely set foot outside because of my illness. I couldn't even go to school. That's probably why we never saw each other around. I had really hoped we would catch up sooner, but I guess time waits for no one. Eventually, I realized you had packed up and left home for good. Oh. 
That's right, when I got locked up. <laughs> yeah, he did go to jail. I decided I would find you someday, somehow, and express my gratitude then. So, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad to see you're healthy, too. Well, I'm no longer confined to a hospital bed, I can tell you that much. I'm free to roam the world now. So I guess I'm trying to cross things off my bucket list. And the first thing on it was finding you. Oh, yeah? So even though this girl only met me once, she's been waiting for me all this time. And here I was thinking no one gave a damn about me being gone. Almost makes me want to cry. All right. Now let's go out to celebrate. In honor of your return to the outside world. You mean it? I would love to. Though, the way we're talking about it makes it seem like I just got out of prison. <laughs> yeah. Why would I know anything about that? <laughs> well, I'm happy either way. So are we leaving right now? If you have things to do, I could always wait. Is there anything I need to care of right now, or am I down to just head out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good to go. Let's Shall do we? this. Okay, then lead the way. The only thing is, I have no idea what kind of things she'd be into. What would make her happy? Why are you saying this out loud, Kasuga? Ah, okay, hold on. A lot of hidden things in sports, especially baseball, especially in the 1940s. Then there was two baseball secret teams controlled by mafias. Well, that makes sense. And for we have the rest gang, the zebras, yeah. Like, I don't know, even like outside of professional baseball, people who play baseball, well, dudes who play baseball specifically, are just really. They're macho about it. It's strange. Uh, what would make you happy? It's not a host club, not a bar. Let's go to an arcade, because I don't know how old this lady is. Well, how about an arcade? Nothing cheers you up like a good game. Oh, I'd love that. I've actually never been to an arcade. All right, good. No way. Really? Uh, right. You've been stuck inside a hospital this whole time. Well, let's head on over. Okay. Let's go to the host bar and jail. Here we go. Yeah. Man. This is the, we've been playing for 17 minutes and already there's two sub stories about two sick girls. Why? Oh, so this is an arcade. Look at all the games you can try. Yeah, yeah just don't walk in here with a hangover unless you want a headache. Trust me on that one. I do. You're probably the only guy who would <laughs> who would go to an arcade hungover. <laughs> yeah, you got me there. So are there any games catching your eye? It all looks so enticing. Oh. Oh fuck, UFO catcher? No. Look at the cute stuffed animals over there. You can get it for me. Only tackle this UFO catcher, huh? Alright, let's see what I got. Good luck. <sighs> okay. Dude, I cannot wait to go to Japan and be able to play the gotchas and UFO catchers and stuff. Alright. <laughs> I'll take that, I'll take that, that's fine. Oh, I didn't go back far enough. No, it's gonna raise him backwards. <gasps> Hell yeah! Once I actually won two stuffed animals in one of those machines. I've won, I've rarely won. In one turn though sounds like a crazy experience. Two in one! Well, two in one game, not in one turn.
Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, the temperature changes in my room is insane. Now my nose is gonna be maybe stuff. <laughs> gotcha. Do <laughs> something else, Kasuga san. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda don't either. Oh. Would you mind holding onto that for me? I don't have a purse or anything. Yeah, no problem. <gasps> Photo booth. Best of smile. Everyone's getting sick nowadays. Dude, I was sick last week. Like, proper... I was just very sick last week. It sucked. Chi-Chi Key? I said you did pretty good in there. You have fun? Of course I did. I mean, the games were nice. The real treat was watching you struggle to win. You should have seen your face. Oh, so that's how it is, huh? We get to try out print circle. Something I've always wanted to do. Look at your pose. It's so weird. It's priceless. Huh? They're so cute. What the hell? Darn, is that me? My eyes look like they're popping out of my skull. What's with that crazy hair? And here I was thinking I was handsome. Guess I better wipe down the mirror next time I check myself out in the bathroom. Oh, well, Kasuga, you've always been handsome to me. Even with the crazy hair. That reminds me. I seem to remember your hair being shorter back hmm? then. Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess we'd have seen me before it went all freaking radioactive. Well, I think I look good either way. You're adaptable. Huh? Thanks. That's a compliment, right? <gasps> of course. Hey, Kaede-chan. How old are you anyway? I mean, you say we met in Kamurocho, so... I don't know, I guess I thought you'd look a little older. <laughs> That's mean. You're not supposed to ask a girl her age. Oh, whoops. Sorry. It was just an observation. Anyway, you wanna go and eat? I'm getting kinda hungry. Mm -hmm. Sure. Hmm? <laughs> be, be sick three weeks ago? Maybe two? Yeah. Be, be alright, see soon. But, golly. It's like... I was out for the count for three of the five days of the week last week. Like, weekdays. Could not do it. Welcome. How many in your party? How old is this lady or girl? Let me know when you're ready to order. Hey, not to be rude, but my dad could use a glass of water too, yeah? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'll bring another glass right away. I guess she'll get here when she gets here. Are we looking at a ghost? You gotta crave for anything, kind of chum? I'm not that hungry. Orange juice is fine. Go ahead and knock yourself out, though. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have asked you you're hungry too. Don't worry, quick. I have all the time in the world. Excuse me. I'll take a large omelette rice and an orange juice. Coming right up. What is happening? Whew, I'm stuffed. You really savor every bite, don't you? Of course I do. I always love to eat, though I can't see to slam it down like I used to. Mm. And anything too fatty makes me so bloated these days, you know? I think I'm getting old. Isn't it wonderful to age, though? To watch yourself mature, see your body go through its, all its changes. I wish I could have done that! She's dead! She's a ghost! Hmm? Say what now? Never mind. I guess it sounded kind of weird. Anyway, should we get going? Okay. Yeah, why not? Thanks for the grub. Nice place you got here. Oh, of course. Thank you. Wait, but they took a picture together and she was seen in the picture. I'm confused. Yeah. I swear these machines are bullshit. How'd we go broke already? We need some spending money and fast. Oh, would you look at that? One lonely bumfuck right on cue. Anything you've been waiting want, wanting to do in particular? Uh, let me think. We could always. Hey, boss. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this goofy bastard smiling and staring into space like a kid and his imaginary <laughs> friend. Hey, hear us out for a sec. That pachinga parlor right there sucked up all the cash we had. Sad, I know. Maybe you wanna, I don't know, donate to our cause. Something along the lines of your whole wallet? Consider it an investment in the youth of tomorrow. <laughs> you think there's a tomorrow for something pulling? You think there's a tomorrow for something pulling this kind of shit? How about you shut the fuck up? Dude, let's just rob this dipshit and get back to business. Kaida chan, stay back. Might get a little dangerous. 
Just be careful. I just had to go and freak out my date. You better be on your knees apologizing when I'm done with you. What's this guy yapping about? Yo, cut the crab and fork over the investment. Everything has to be a fight. There always has to be a fight. Watch me. Fifteen thousand, hell yeah. I'll take it. Fifteen thousand is good. Damn. Oh. Uh, shouldn't have picked a fight with some psycho. Take it from me, you're better off finding a temp job. You okay, Kaede chan? Kasuka san, I'm fine, thanks to you. You protected me just like before. Even after all these years, you're still my one and only hero. Right. If you say so. <laughs> it's getting pretty dark out. Guess that means our date's almost over. Hey, Kasuka san? Hmm? There's one more place I'd like to go. Would you mind staying with me just a little longer? Sure. We're legitimate. Are we legitimately schizophrenic? Like I'm. <laughs> we're looking. We're seeing ghosts. We're seeing ghosts. Oh, I forgot to change up penguin. Hold on. There we go. view like this was in my own backyard. You know, it's crazy how we met up out of nowhere. Especially after all this time. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, I would watch you all the time from my hospital room. Wait, watch me doing what? Well, at first, I only heard your voice. You were really loud, so... That's what initially got my attention. Give me back my change, or meat you still eating. <laughs> I would hear that kind of thing every day. Yeah, that does sound a lot like me. At first, I wasn't sure what to think of you, but I warmed up to you pretty quick. Instead of lying around in bed wondering whether I'd live or die, I had someone else to focus on. Whenever you were in short sleeves, I knew it was summer. Or when you wore a scarf, I knew it was winter. Really? Damn, if I'd known I was being watched, I would have worn cooler stuff. No. What you wore was perfect. It reflected the true you. <coughs> the man I fell in love with. Huh? You serious? She's a oh, ghost! Did I hear you right? You love me? <laughs> I hope that's not a problem. Hey, Kasuka san? Live long and stay happy for both of us. Huh? Hey, no loitering, you drunk. Mm -hmm. Hey, who were you babbling to just now? Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't mean to make a scene or anything. Huh? <laughs> you wasted, big guy? Maybe you need to walk down to the station. Uh, no, officer. No need for that. I was just about to leave. Yeah? Well, I suggest you get on home. Don't be a nuisance. Okay.
Yeah, she wasn't in the picture. Ah. <laughs> Maybe we'll meet again when it's my time. Kaida-chan was his true or someone he fell in love with. I don't know. That sucks. What a sad story. I can't believe it. what the fuck. <coughs> Such a bummer of a story. An ad's gonna play in like five seconds or twenty seconds, so get ready for that. But damn it. Yeah, penguin is blinged out, my guy. What's up here? What's this? Batting center. Heaven's golf. Oh, there's golf here. It's fine. We'll work our way up to Dragon Cart. I don't blame them seeing ghosts. Facts. Yeah, dude, like, I mean, you think about it, it's kind of tough that she, that he has to deal with this BS, right? He goes to jail, he misses out on love, comes back, does the whole story and the whole thing of Yakuza, like, Kasuga's been through a lot. I wish he could catch a break and actually have something good happen to him. Seen so much pain. Hey, pops, you all right? <sighs> I'm just on the job, but my tendonitis is killing me these days. Each time I click this tally counter, <laughs> hey, now don't hurt yourself. Why don't you take a break if it's hurting that badly? Well, I hired some help, but they bailed on me last minute. I can't exactly take a break anymore. <laughs> Oh my god! Whoa, easy. That doesn't sound good. Want me to call you an ambulance? No, no, no. As long as I don't use the tally counter, I'm good. Besides, it's not like anyone's rushing out to do my job. The kids of today aren't interested in the modest life of a traffic census taker. Traffic sensor sensei. Traffic sensor Traffic sensei. Sensor? The hell's that? What? You've never heard of a traffic sensor before? Never in my life. Bet it's complicated though. Yeah. Oh no, it's quite easy. My job simply entails counting the pedestrians and cars that pass by. Ah. So, uh, how do you count them? I sit along the edge of this road and count everything that comes through. Are we gonna count for him? I love this. What do you mean? 
For example, let's say I count cards. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I'm trying to show an example. Whenever a car passes by, you click the counter like this. Got it? Sure. Something passes by, I click the thing. Right you are. You're a quick learner. Well, now that you know the rules, would you <coughs> to give it a try? Now hold up. I might have learned how it's done, but I never said anything about doing the job. No, oh, no, no, no! You really say that to a man whose crippling tendonitis is keeping him from the very This is so level? weird! Please, my super perm friend. Oh, oh, the pain's getting worse by the click. Oh, and it pays pretty well for a job where you sit on your rump all day. At the end of the day, it's still just count shit. What do I do? Let's count shit! Give it a try, anyway. Yeah, it's a turn-based it's a turn-based combat system. Um, they switched it up specifically for Yakuza. I think what they're doing is they're gonna keep Judgment as the uh, action combat beat 'em up style, and now Yakuza will have this turn-based system because everyone took to it pretty well. It's a really fun system. Like it works out okay. The only thing I'm not okay with is the amount of grinding that you have to do. Because even back then in like normal Yakuza games, or the older Yakuza games, you didn't have to grind at all. Give it a try. Right. So one to try. Really? Oh, that'd be a big help. Oh, uh, by the way, what's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga who? A fine name. I'm Shurabe Michio. Been doing the traffic census job around these parts for 30 years now. Shurabe. 30 years? You're a real veteran, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Yet nothing goes uncounted thanks to these eyes. My peers call me the Traffic Sensor Sensei. Makes you sound like a legend, Pops. <laughs> yeah, well, not while my hands are. Wait, if doing your job gives you tendonitis, wouldn't that mean there's a lot of physical labor involved? No, it's not a physically demanding job by any means. Traffic in these parts is quite hectic, you see? It takes a lightning fast clicker. And you seem a heck of a lot sturdier than me, Kazuka Kun. So it's not you need to worry about. Okay, so all I gotta do is keep that counter clicking. Yes, indeed. The clicking of the counter paves the way for road plans, construction projects, the very future as we know it. So that's why I'd always see guys sitting on their asses clicking these things. Exactly. They were counting all different types of cars and people. Businesses and organizations use this data to advance city development. Huh. Learn something every day. Well, I'd very much like to start practicing, but are you ready? Yeah. Lay it on me. <laughs> Good answer. Then consider your training officially begun. Why don't we first start off by counting how many men pass by within 15 seconds? We are doing an actual job. Alright. Alright. We gotta look at what dudes. 15 seconds. I bet it's gonna be a lot. This is. What the fuck is this mini game? <laughs> One. Two. Three. Three, four. Four. Were you able to get an accurate number? All right, let's get a look at the tally counter. Yeah, it's pretty good, Kasuka Kun. A nice accurate count. <laughs> There's nothing. Well then, here's your compensation. What? A hundred bucks just for doing that? You give me this much for clicking a little clicky thing? <laughs> Yeah, perks of the job. You didn't think you were training for nothing, did you? There's more traffic sensor than this, however. We'll get into some more advanced techniques next time. What, you're gonna make me click it harder? <laughs> if the job was easy, I wouldn't have tendonitis. Regardless, harder work will mean high pay. I hope that entices you to stop yeah. by. Sure, I'll come by when I get free time. Yo, let's just keep doing this one. Maybe we can finish this off. I'm also curious. I need to look at the list of sub-stories to see if... Is it in the smartphone? This picture's taken. 
fucking list. Taxi, DLC, pictures. Oh, our Suji decks. Cleaning crew costume, cost of gun. Nurse costume, done, done. Wait, did we not receive all of these already? Whoa, dude, we got a lot of stuff. store oh new jobs more costumes and then costumes so we have this one already I don't think we have this one Includes iconic characters pack, the Onimichi costume set, which would be cool. Bleach Japan costume set, double heroine costume set. Okay, that's fine. Where do I go for management? No. Part time hero. Rescue. How do I track? Whoa. Internet bull this makes her much more resistant to fear, charm, and silence. I think there's a DLC side story. Oh! <coughs> Excuse me. Where do I look at the sub stories though? So does it work? I tell my ex-boss if it's okay for me to count cars at the highway. Wait, do you just do it for fun? He's a busy guy with a lot of inboxes to respond back to. He does, but I don't, yeah, I didn't get to it. Um, 24 out of 52. So we're not even halfway. I'm also glad I found it here. Anyway, where are we going now? Let's just do this more. I think we can finish this one. And it should be chill. <laughs> ah, Kasuga kun We meet again. F feel like helping with the traffic census? Help out. Yeah. Sure, I'll give it another go. Thanks, Kasuga kun That'd be a big help. Okay, then. Let's try counting the number of women who pass by within a 20 second time frame. I was joking with them because I work in a factory and slow days are in summer. Try to get an excuse to leave and get outside. That'd be nice. Mm. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I got it. Do you? Seven. Whew. I think that's it. Good work. Let's look at your tally counter. Seven. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a good one. Nice accurate count. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Well then, here's your compensation. 20,000 yen! 673, lol, Nick. In memory was, my memory wasn't as sharp as yours when I was younger. I certainly had my share of supervisors yelling at me. Maybe, but 30 years later, you're still here. Mm. That's right. I'm surprised you remembered that. 30 years, I supported this city from behind the scenes. Truthfully, I wasn't the best father, so this job is my pride and joy. Pride and joy, huh? 
Did you hear someone called the traffic senses sensei? <laughs> <laughs> Please, you're getting me all choked up. Kazuko, you're indeed fast learner, so come back soon and I'll teach you the rest. Huh? We're still not done? Yeah, it's exhilarating though. Your conversation will be even higher next time. Do stop by again. Yeah, I'll be back. Three hundred! Kazuko, we meet again. If you like helping me with the traffic census, help yeah. out. Sure. I'll give it another go. Thanks, Kasuga-kun. That'd be a big help. Let's get into something even more difficult. I'd like you to separately count the number of men and women within the 15 second time frame. The streets are busier than usual today, so keep those eyes peeled. Mm. This one sounds harder than the last two. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm counting with two different hands. One, two, th oh, Jesus. There's a robot. Three, four, five. There's a cat. Six, seven, eight, nine. I got it. I don't! What the fuck? What was that? <laughs> Why is that so hard? <laughs> so not sure about everything I saw back there, but I think this is it. You got ten- oh my god! I think it was five men, five women, because I saw ten. But I wasn't sure. There might have been more women than men. I'm gonna go five. It doesn't seem accurate, but it appear the challenging even for you, Custard couldn't well. It'd be a lot easier if there was much shit passing by. What is up with this road? <laughs> Yokohama's always been a lively and dapper city. Anyway, why don't we try again? The game is be time for all the tenth cutting. Why don't I give it a little rest? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll come back later. What was that? Okay, I'm gonna do that again. I'm not cheating. I'm not gonna look online. Yeah. Okay. Men, women. Got it. It was six women. Five men and six women. What? Oh, five men and six women. Thank you, Oh, that's that the last perfect. one. Take this as compensation. Thirty thousand yen. Oh, it's busy as hell. My fingers are killing me. Yeah, it's seen all sorts of people since it was first opened way back when. Counting may be a handful, but I think it's actually quite interesting, don't you? <laughs> Frankly, I absolutely love the work we do. I never really thought about it before, but this city's actually pretty neat. I have to admit, I'm surprised at how fast you've picked this up, Kasukaku. Hey, what better teacher than the traffic census sensei himself? <laughs> ah, you flatter me. <laughs> that said, I know a good pupil when I see one. I can retire in peace knowing you're around, Kasuga Kun. What are you talking about, Pops? Not running on fumes just yet, are you? Well, to tell you the truth, turns out the tendonitis afflicting this old arm of mine is worse than I feared. Huh? What do you mean? It's not just pain and swelling, but numbness as well. My doctors told me to stop using the tally counter. No way. Oh, it's no cause for concern. If anything, it's inspired me to pass on this job to the coming generation. Kasuga Kun, what do you think of the traffic sensors now that you've tried it for yourself? Huh? Well, it's pretty tough for how modest the work is. I got kind of frustrated here and there. <laughs> I've thought as much. Yes, it is modest work. <laughs> Still, each day I click away at that counter and watch as the scenery changes bit by bit. <laughs> Truly warms my heart. I want nothing more than to share that passion and joy with those next in line. Guess I'm first in that line, huh? <laughs> it would seem so. <laughs> I'm truly grateful that you came to help me in my time of need, Kasuga. Really, I should be thanking you for letting me try it out. Oh, next in line sounds like a pretty big responsibility. Oh, that reminds me. Here, Kasuga Kun. Hmm. Battered tally counter. I've held on to that for some time now, in hopes that I might one day pass it on to a worthy successor. A worthy successor? Mind you, it's nothing fancy. Just a little something to commemorate you, Kasuga-kun, as my very first pupil. Oh, sure. 
In that case, thank you. There will come a time when I can no longer look after Japan's aspiring census takers. And the task will inevitably fall to you. Uh -huh. Oh, I just remembered something I have to do. What? Hey, wait a sec, boss. I didn't sign up for that. Where I apply at? Did you say something? I gotta run. Bye. Bye. He snapped his fingers. He's gone. Damn it! What the hell was that? He was able to snap his fingers. A, a lot more to it than I thought. I guess it takes all sorts of jobs to keep a city going. I would like to apply for that job. Maybe my brain would be dead by the end of the day, but I don't know. It seems chill for the amount of money he earned for... What was it? Like a minute of work? To walk across the street. Fuck. He just leaves all his work duties to you. Knew it. Yeah, that's pretty funny though, to be fair. Oh, Jesus! Hey. Oh, it's not judgment where I can just climb the car. Oh, here it is. Honestly, Ayamiko. Honestly. You can't do anything without your senpai. What kind of tour guide goes the wrong way? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's going on over there? He's not cool enough to climb over cars. Yeah. Apparently it takes an ex-criminal to not climb a car, but it takes a detective to climb cars, so... Who knows? <laughs> trouble our customers like that again, and you're fired! This next one is your last chance. Make sure you know your stuff! If I get fired in front of my parents, my life will be totally ruined. Hey, I know that you were pretty down over here. You all right? Huh? That guy was yelling at you pretty loud, so I got kind of worried. Oh, you saw me get scolded by my boss, huh? Oh, how embarrassing. And he said something about you being a guide? Yes, I'm a tour guide with Chinatown Tours. I just recently moved to the city, but I have severe performance anxiety, and, well, I'm always messing up. All the other new girls are doing really well while I'm out here making a total fool of myself. My senpai's usually around to help me, but she was out sick today. I tried doing it by myself, but it was a total disaster. Oh, so that's why your boss was yelling at you. 
Yes. And if I mess up again, I might lose my job. That's rough. And that's not the only thing. My parents are going to be at my next one. They wanted to see me shine, so they flew all the way out here. Whoa. You like that in front of your parents. That definitely adds some pressure. That's why I have to do well on this next one. But I don't have a lot of time. It's just gonna be another train wreck without my senpai's help. What should I do? Yeah, that's a real drag. There's gotta be something you can do. I know this is sudden, but I have something I need to ask you. What's that? Would you be willing to help me in my next Chinatown tour? Yes! Uh, me? Be keen. I know I'm being unreasonable, but do you think you could? Just having someone around would be a big help. You're asking me for help like I'm some kind of Chinatown expert. I'm kind of not. I'll be informing everyone about each stop we visit on the tour. I just need you to chime in any time I get nervous and clam up. Uh... You're the only person I can turn to at this point. Won't you please help? And of course, I'll make sure you're rewarded too. Sound like there's anyone else she can ask. What should I do? I shall accept! Alright, fine. I'll sure as hell try. Oh, thank you, mister! I know we've only just met, but I'm incredibly grateful for how kind you've been. My name is Ayami Ishida. Nice to meet you, Ayami. I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, pleased to meet you. Okay, let me fill you in on the places we'll be visiting. I'll simulate the tour with these pictures, so let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you again. Okay, first, take a look at this picture. This here is the entrance to Chinatown. This magnificent gate is called a Pai Fong, and it's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Pai Fong, Pai Fong. Pai Fong. That's a first for me. I should take notes. It's said that a red dragon lies within the Pai Fong, acting as its guardian. Pai Fong. It watches over Chinatown from the gate, ensuring there's peace in the community. A red dragon, huh? All right, Nick. See you next time. Remember the word Pai Fong. Chinatown. <laughs> oh, sorry. Chinatown's Hope you have a good one, my guy. Red too. Okay. Yeah, I'll see if I can stream next week, but the it's the beginning the of the busyness, so. Even in Chinatown, the street is lined with many well-known stores. And in our tour, we'll be going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. They're known for their ultra-packed super bun. Very fancy. The meat bun is so incredibly large, it's nearly the same size as a soccer ball. Meat you bun. Give it a try blue sign. On. Okay, on to the next place. This will be the final stop on the tour. Mute bun. The Swine Latong statue. It's said to be the god that presides over all the food in Chinatown. That's so cute. Swine Latong? It's called Swine Latong because it's a play on both Swan Latong, Chinese hot and sour soup, and the pork often used in the recipe. Wow. That's uh unique. Swine Latong. There's a very interesting legend regarding this adorable swine latong. Rub the swine latong's right ear four times before you leave Chinatown, and you'll encounter delicious food wherever you go. Yo, that's so cute. Right ear four times. Am I supposed to be taking notes? The paint is starting to chip on its right ear, so use that to help you remember. Okay, that covers it. Think you'll be okay, Kasuga-san? This is tough, but it sounds like you've got it all down, Ayami. Well, when is the real thing? I worry too much about messing up, and my mind sort of goes blank. Still, I want to show my parents that I can stand on my own two feet, so I'll do my best. I have some things to do before the tour, so I'll be waiting in front of the Tayo Gate on Chinatown Way. All right, I'll see you later. See you next time. Sorted. In Chinatown's on this side. There's more stories on this one. So I think we should just continue. I think we work our way bang, bang, bang. Or do we go. Yeah, no. Bang, bang, bang. And then we'll go work our way around. So. I need to keep. I need to mark my fucking things.
Watch me. <laughs> nice. You're in for it. You're gonna be in a world Yeah, I got a heal cycle. She's not in good shape. They're 42s, so let's Watch see actually. You're gonna get stuck. Okay, it's fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. This is the most damage you can do? God damn it. Cafe. Dust detected. Dust detected. Hmm? Huh? What is this thing? <laughs> I never expected Soji to react to people. The appear clothes are dirty. Preparing to suck. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. My clothes are dirty. Kind of rude to bust that out on a stranger. But speaking of clothes, what's up with your coat? Ah, my apologies. I'm Professor Okita, creator of Soji. Ah, now I get it. But what is this Soji thing you keep talking about? What? Are you telling me you're a shrub-haired young man that you don't no. know Shoji? No, God. Soji is a popular household cleaning robot that sold 5 million units and counting. No. Like I said, I never heard of it. What? To think there's those souls across our great land that have never heard of Soji. You've either been living under a rock or behind bars. Yeah, well. <sighs> back it up, did you say- Sorry, back it up, did you say this thing's a household cleaning robot? I didn't even know those were a thing. We live in a golden age of automatic vacuum cleaners. With just a push of a button, Soju will make your home sparkle wow. and shine. This little tin can? Hard to imagine, but sounds amazing. Oh, <laughs> indeed. It's received nationwide recognition, in fact. I'm currently in the planning phase of a new Soji model that's been requested by the state. What for, you ask? Why, this new model will clean whole cities. Whole cities? With this little thing? No, no, no. Cleaning the entire... The entire... City of Yokohama at this size would be far too inefficient. As such, new Soji are planned to be 4 meters in width and 1.5 meters in height, and employ a suction force five times that of a current model. Huh? Something that big is going to be running around the city? Wouldn't it like scare kids? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. 
I've been implementing some additional features to ensure it becomes nothing short of Yokohama's friendly neighborhood Soji. Right. Mm. However, a government subsidy alone isn't enough to cover costs. I'm currently trying to raise funds from various organizations, but it's been somewhat of a struggle. Wow. Huh. I guess building state of building state of the art robots ain't cheap. Though I gotta say, I wouldn't mind seeing this place get cleaned up. How much more do you need for development? Let's see now. Taking my personal funds into account, I'd wager a million yen would about cover it. A million? That's no small small chunk of change. Are you offering anything to people who pitch in? Hmm. Certainly. If you invest your funds in this project yields of profit as planned, you'll receive a healthy dividend. <laughs> I'll also give you access to rent the new Soji model at your leisure, so how does that sound? Hmm. Well, let me think. I'll see what I can give if they have anything to spare. Sir, young shrub. No, Lord Shrub, yeah. I thank you. I'm sure it'll be a lot of hard work, but good luck with the robot. You have my thanks. Anyhow, till next time. Can I not just pay him now? Did he disappear? Kasuga. Let's pay him now. Oh, let's see what you have here. Who's hungry? Me. Bang, baby, cleared. And that makes a million. I finally have the funds to cover development. <laughs> Eureka! I'm having a hard time believing I just handed you a million yen. It's all thanks to you, Lord Shrub. I am truly, truly grateful. Now, without any further delay, I'm heading back to the lab. Yeah. I'm looking forward to, within, to what an increase in size will do for the Soji name. You will be in all. I'll message you once it's done. You best prepare yourself. Sure. So, I'm assuming this is Soji. This is the, the tour because Chinatown. So we'll go up, bang, and then down and around. I keep forgetting to do that. Is it what I think it's called? What's the park called? And why have I heard of Ueno Park, but not anything else? Where's Ueno Park? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 Oh, it's this weird dude. Step right up and see it for yourself. Hmm? Come on in. Grand Animal Circus. Didn't know the circus was in town. Wow. Looks like it's right here in Hamika Hamakita Park. I should check it out while I have the time. All right, I want to do dragon carding, please. Thanks to your investment, development of the new Soji model was a success. I want you to be the first user. Meet me in front of the Jinai station. In front of Jinai station. Hmm? Jin, Jinai. Looks like the new Soji's all done. Should be at the Jinai station. Should swing by when I can. Is it? Oh, this one's gone. So I guess it's here now. Alright, that's still the path. That's still the route we should take. Come around and down. A behive. Une Maria Khan. Mirai Khan. So you came. I take it you prepared to die. No. I don't plan on dying anytime soon. 
I'm just here to beat you in a race, that's all. I appreciate your show of confidence, but talk is cheap. I see we get on with the race. Yeah. I've been more excited to win. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Soon enough, you'll gape in horror as your life flashes before your eyes. I forgot how to race! I don't know how to race. I'm having a lot of fun, by the way. Like, just playing the Yakuza game again. It's just so good. I just wanna <clears throat> Yeah, my preference in driving is handling. I gotta make sure we know how to handle the car. Or the carta. It's okay, it's um, two laps. Seven seconds, golly! We need a faster car. We actually no, we just need to drive better. Jesus, I don't think we're making it. I don't think we're making it. I don't think we're making it. We're gonna die!
10 seconds behind. That's so slow. should applaud you walking out of there unscathed. Hmm. Be thankful you're leaving with your life. Not everyone is so fortunate. <clears throat> okay, try again. Show me some, show me your moves. I just changed up carts. I know I probably should just be driving better, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So I don't take the boost. We don't take the boost. That's the goal is to not take the boost on those ones. We can take the boost here. Jesus. What's up, Sean? How are you, my dude? Welcome back. 
nice to see you. I hope you're doing all right. I hope life's treating you well. Life is currently kicking my ass in a racing car game, so that's fun. Come on. During I finally got some downtime. Hell yeah. Good to see you're able to take a break. Oh no, that's what I not I did not need that. Okay, where is it? I don't think my acceleration's fast enough to catch up to him. No! Have you played Judgment? I played the first one. I haven't played Lost Judgment yet. <laughs> I'm still losing by a lot. Uh... Um, yeah, Judgment was fun. Um, haven't taken the time to do the sub-stories there yet, but that's all we're going to be doing for here. It's just... Any sub story mini game that I have left over to do here. Damn. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Stuck on this one though. That's my second loss. I was fine if I didn't bump into that the initial on that first lap. If I didn't fuck up that first lap, I would be okay, but you know what happens. Yeah. Cool. I think I keep with the same car. I don't know. Damn, what kind of championship belts you holding? <laughs> well, from what I remember, we had the NXT belt. We have the North American title, the new Intercontinental title. Oh, both NXTs, sorry, both NXT iterations. Macho Man sunglasses, just just for good measure. <coughs> I haven't been like editing Penguin in a while. I really haven't had the time to just sit down and look at stream stuff for a bit. But I don't know. These are like the two states the Penguin is at: regular state and then championship state. I did it again. I did it again. I got cucked by the line. God damn it. That worked out. Still there. Still competing, still competing, still competing.
Wait, last lap. I just gotta drive clean. Could be it. Damn it. Yes. Oh. Do I still watch wrestling? Easy wins after two losses, lol. Um, no, I don't currently watch. I do look at it on social media from time to time and see what's there, but I haven't had the time to sit down and watch. I go to some. Um, First try, lol. I go to some indie shows here where I go. My brother and I have started going to some shows. We've only had two shows so far this year, but it's still something. Um, it's hard though. It's hard to get into when you don't care about or don't know about the new people that are there or like the mainstay that's there. But I, the, from what I see with WWE, they've got some good storylines coming through. They have some like. You know, Triple H is managing it well, from what I've seen. People are like, very interested and it's very fun to watch again, so I think now would be a time to get back. You just need to get like that wrestler that you're interested in and go watch their matches. You know, you gotta have someone to root for. Because, you know, most people can't don't just sit down and appreciate wrestling for wrestling. Some people just need, you know, like it makes sense though. You need that further attachment to a character or a storyline to keep you watching. Impossible. There must be some mistake. We're witnessing a miracle here, folks. Kasuga, the rookie, just defeated Jinsan in the breathtaking battle of speed. And his third attempt. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> really warming up just now. Thought I could pull that off again. It's over for me. I lost my right to ride the moment I lost the race. Now there's only one thing left to do. And that is... Uh, what? Dude! Oh. Hold it. This race isn't bound by Yakuza rules. That line's got nothing to do with Dragon Card. Not to mention, you probably steered like crap without that finger. Alright then, Ricky. Kasuga san. Uh, you think we could race again sometime? Totally. Hell yeah, we can. As racers, it falls on us to keep Dragon Card alive. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Splendid. That was a marvelous show. Oh, Fujisawa-san, hey. That was an amazing race, Kasuga-san. You're improving much faster than I was expect than I expected. You should have no problem with the Dragon Cup at this mm -hmm. rate. Yeah? Does any of them allow to enter? Hi. Yeah. Please enter the Dragon Cup with everyone else and show me how good a racer you can, can get. You got it. Yes. I can finally enter the Dragon Cup. I just gotta make sure I'm prepared and then I'm good to go. <laughs> should we do the Dragon Cup? Wait, no, we should do the Chinatown thing first and then we do Dragon Cup. Because I already forgot what the words were. I should have gone to the China. Ah! There's a Chinatown like quest where we're showing around people in Chinatown. And I just I haven't done it. I was too busy racing. Where is it? Uh, I'm just gonna taxi my way through North Chinatown, please. <laughs> Swain La Tang 
because it rhymes with the other one. Why, 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 why are we fighting? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, we're gonna slap him with money. <sighs> okay, he did he fuck it up? Oh no, he is. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, come on. Is she here? Yo, let's go. Kasuka san, I'm counting on you for today's tour. Are you ready to go? Oh shit, yes, let's go over it again. Okay, once more. Thank god. Paifang. We're going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. Ultra packed super bun. And this is the swine latang. And you rub the right ear. Right ear four times. Thank God we can review. You can do this! Hello everyone. Thank you for participating in um, the Chinatown tour. Ah, oh no, oh no, oh no. Mm. Off to a good start. <laughs> Snow girl, you gotta be, you gotta be alright miss? Don't worry folks, you're gonna be in great hands today. Hey. Keep it together, Ayami. Your mom and pop are watching. Right, I need to pull myself together. <laughs> My apologies. Okay, I'm your tour guide for today, Ayami Ishida of Chinatown Tours. And this is my assistant for the day. His name is Kakasua Katsudon-san. That's Kasuga. At your service. Happy to be here. Man, Ayami's already a wreck. Paifang. Soccer ball size. This ultra mega packed. Blue sign. The swine latang. Right ear. Hi. Right, here we are. This gate marks the entrance to Chinatown. What a beautiful gate. Right, here we are. This gate marks the entrance to Chinatown. Yo. Hey, you just said that. <laughs> Is it a comedy bit? <laughs> oh, my apologies. My existing gate is called the Paifang. It's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Legend has it a guardian lies within the guard. The guardian is a... It's a dragon. She could do this, you could do this. Kasuga, step in! Yeah. Oh dear, I hope the little girl's alright. Kasuga, step in. Mm. Alright, I guess I'll here. The guardian animal was a dragon! Yeah. The gate's guarded by a red dragon. Huh? That's right. This, ga this gate's guardian is a red dragon. The dragon is said to watch over everyone's right. What? Everyone right here from this <laughs> gate. Maybe she get a picture. Good, good. Okay, let's head to the next spot. God is able to help.
Okay, so um, even here in Sotembori, the streets is lined with many well-known stores. Yo! Psst, Chinatown. <gasps> yes, I meant to say in the street lined with a lot of great stores, just like Sotembori. And speaking of which, who's hungry? Well, that one had her ass, didn't she? One place I personally recommend is the meat bun shop over there. I can't read the sign, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's just different meat bun shops. The blue sign! Kono something. It smells great. There's a lot of meat bun shops here. Sorry, which one is it? Oh, well, it's the, uh... Sheesh, what a pain in the ass. Blue yeah. sign. It's the one with the blue sign. I'm pretty hungry too, so why don't we head out that way? Great, I'm starving. What sort of meat buns do they have at this place? It'll be a surprise when you get there. Now let's keep going. <laughs> I'm excited to be a... I bet they have a chili shrimp bun. <laughs> I miss doing a great job, isn't she, dear? Aye. Indeed. Bing, 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 ding, 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 bing, 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 bing. Looks like Ami's mom and dad are happy. More, mm, and then just a bunch of katakana I don't understand. Mm, what a great smell. This place currently has a new meat bun called the uh, was it the hyper miraculous oh um, oh no come on Annie what's the name of that meat bun the ultra packed super bun this big thing right here is the newly released ultra packed super bun the most surprising thing about the ultra packed super bun is its size it's as big as a soccer ball this meat bun is sure to please even the biggest appetites I hope everyone will give it a try Kokomi. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? We should post oh. about it. Good call. People are going to love this. Ooh, looks like that went well. Finally arrived at the last stop of our tour. This is the newest addition to Chinatown, the Swine Latang. Mm -hmm. Swan Latang? This little pig has a name based on Chinese dish, Swan Latang. Or hot and or hot and sour soup. Swan Latang, I get it. <laughs> Funny name, but it's cute. The Swan Latang may look similar to Maniki Neko, but it's said to be the god of food here in Chinatown. And I don't know, there should be some sort of thing you do. What's up with the chip pain on the right <gasps> ear? Alright. There's a saying that if you rub the swine on his right ear four times, you'll encounter delicious food no matter where you go. Yeah. Oh, I want to rub it. Let's get a picture. Would you like me to take your picture? Yes, please. <sighs> Ami, you're doing great. Indeed, I'm so proud I could cry. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh. Hey, jerk off! Look what you did. You went and dirty my 500 grand suit. Tanaka-san, are you okay? Oh, no. Miss, please help. I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, what should I do? Tanaka-san's in trouble. I may be scared, but I can't panic. I have strong and protect my customers. You even burned me with a hot what? tea there, huh? But this is milk tea. It's been cold for a while oh. now. Shut your app. If I say I got burned, then damn it, I got burned. Mate. Look, if you're going to hit someone, hit me. It's my job to make sure, sure my customers are safe. Oh, miss. I'm gonna need 500 grand for my suit and another 500 for my injuries. That's a cool mill in total. Your company covered that, right, girly? Um, in that case, we need to discuss the matter with our lawyers. <laughs> How about that? Little girl's got some balls. Hey. Back off. Oh. Who the fuck are you? I'm the tour guide's guide. My job's to steer the tour around the trash. And hey, what do you know? It looks like we've got some right in front of us. It's quite a sight. <laughs> Big talk, you little hero routines just to raise the bill to two mil. Oh, he's just by himself. Watch me. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're gonna be in a world of no, I'm fine, it's fine, it's fine. We don't need to... <laughs> 20,000!
full something. Oh well, shit, now my suit's all dirty. How about I charge you two mil and we call it even? I'm so sorry. Kasuga san, thank you so very much. No. Nah, I don't mention it. That's close, Tonic san, but everything's okay now. Thank you, you really saved me. No, no, I'm just glad you're okay. Alright, everyone, that'll take you to the end of the tour. I'll take you to the end of the tour, Jesus. Mon can't speak. Thank you for joining us on our tour today. I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two. And for that, I apologize. No, no. It was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary. But you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh, no. I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, miss. Oh, miss. What was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The Swine Latong. It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you'll be blessed with delicious food after rubbing its ear. That's right, Swine Latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance, so by all means, please stop by. Thank you so much. Do you feel like you got any better at guiding people today, miss? Actually, you know what? I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, that's great. Uh, thank you, everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for Bye. Kasuga-san, thank you so much for today. You really know how to fight. Wow, that's pretty much all I'm good at. But forgive me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first. But when I thought about protecting my customers, I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right? Dependable, cool, and most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of door guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun, and your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. Fancy microphone. All right then. I hope to see you again sometime. I wonder if we can get Ayami to work with us the <sighs> at our confectionery. Okay. Time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? What? Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Ayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he was so moved. Oh, come on. That's beside the point. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuga-san out there too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami exactly? Hmm? <laughs> Please, dear. Right, that was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. A technique boost. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. <sighs> Good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, 
yummy. <laughs> yeah! Welcome to Ichiban Confections. Alright, we're back at the park, right? So... Let's do the dragon race. Um, see how that goes. See how long that'll take us. And then we'll finish up the side quests that we started. Show me your moves. Wow, there's no handling or grip. It's just top speed and weight. So it's just there's a bowl over everyone. Alright. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Just, just straight speed. <sighs> Sonic Stampede, five hundred seventy-two meters. Oh, we're in Kamurocho. Kabukicho. Let's do this. Jesus. That you that you is not going to be good for us. So goddamn slow. They're so far fucking ahead. Not gonna win. She's so far ahead. Oh my Jesus. That's a loss. Fuck. Yeah, I need a car with better handling. Wow! You're kidding! <laughs> Drive this car. I don't want to do it. It's not good. I don't want to do it. We're not good. I want to switch it back. I gotta get some sort of. I don't know. Just some control on that U turn. It's really rough. 
or maybe something that gets excel like something with better acceleration. Some incredible racing. Right. It was not incredible racing for, for, your, for your, you know, for your knowledge. It was pretty shite. Okay, so this one is. Got good acceleration handling and grip. The top speed's average. This one adds acceleration and grip. Acceleration handling, grip, and ring acceleration. Stick with this one. Do we do the OG one or this one? This one did us pretty well. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. It's okay. We just need to be top. We just need to win two races and be second in one. I know it's just easier to say we could just we should just win three races, but still. Oh, we cannot turn there. It didn't load. Oh, that's fucked up. God. Whatever. Get back to the. Get back. It's fine. Whoa! Granny. Get it up to third. I don't know, we're very far behind. Done already? Damn it. Hot pot tonight. Okay. My fourth is fine. We need a first place finish. I know the game probably wants us to win first every time, but I don't know. I'm gonna keep faith that we can finish this. Let's do this. You serious? Ah, 
Okay. Okay. It's all to play for. It's okay, so Jin is still probably gonna get like second or something. If we could fuck him up so bad that he drops down to fourth. We definitely have to win this one. Too soon. Keep up, will ya? Just still gonna come second. He still got. Ah, I lost by one point. Okay. I knew it. I'm number one. Well done, Jin. Well done.
We'll try again. We'll try again. I think we're gonna stop stream when we win. <laughs> but we got a hot. We we won those two, even though we didn't know what to expect for those ones. So I feel like we're quite in a good spot in regards to those. That was feel like taking a spin. The card was better. I think once you beat the dragon race, then we can unlock fighting um, racer, the racer coon. What's his name? What's his name? Pocket racer. Pocket circuit racer. Pocket circuit. Circuit pocket. Pocket circuit coon. What the fuck? Dude, that's bullshit. Fuck off. We have to race perfect now. That's. He ran into me. He stopped me from. What? Hanging around though. It's alright. We could get more. We didn't need to get that one. Fuck, I hate that so much. She's way too far ahead now. Oh, I hate this. I gotta start over. What the fuck was that? He just literally drove me to the side. The game literally just stopped me from even being part of that. That knocked me out of the Grand Prix. Like, straight up. If I even won both of those races, because... Previously, coming in first, or at least when I did that that circuit, two first places and a fifth place is not going to get me the win. He drove me off. The entire game. It's so that was bullshit. That was. Want to go for a drive? How much money do I have? I don't have a lot of money. That's so dumb. Let them boost past me, it's okay. Okay, here we go. We're feeling good. That was fine to take. Oh, 
jeez. Oh jeez, I messed up those turns real bad. Okay, good. Okay. That's one. That's one. Who? What? Who's having hot pot tonight? Hot pot sounds lit. That was cool that the shop actually like got destroyed. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just race clean. Funny enough, this is racing clean to me. That's not racing clean. That's not racing clean at all. Fuck. Just right behind me too. That's fine. Oh, jeez. That was close. That was really close. Okay. Akira, I. I still need to get it though. I still need to get it. Just that first anyway. It's fine. We've done it before. We can do it again.
Kira really be on to me. Yes! Yeah. Woo. Two seconds. Get me that sweet, sweet 24! Now we can fight Pocket Circuit Master. Somebody. <laughs> well, looks like I lost. You've become a hell of a racer, Ichiban Kun. Yeah, your skills are the real deal. You'll be promoted to Yokozuna before you know it. Yokozuna, huh? Nonsense. You're all too soft. Softer than tofu. Hey, you sold tofu before. Huh? At this rate, you'll never be able to break out of your shell. What the? Fujisawa san? Oh, I'm not the Fujisawa you think you know. Pocket Circuit Racer! I am the one and only Dragon Fighter! You mean this whole time? Wait, who are you? Did he just say he's the dragon fighter? <laughs> Wait, what I do you had mean? no idea it was him. Uh, who? I've only heard rumors, but apparently Dragon Cart was founded by an unbeatable racer known as the Dragon Fighter. But they say he suddenly disappeared one day. Who would have guessed that he and Fujisawa-san were one and the same? I'll say. That wasn't in my database at all. Wait, if you're some legendary racer, why the hell would you pretend to be a receptionist? Something's out of whack. Ah, I guess I owe you an explanation. I took this position to keep an eye on up-and-coming talent. Racers with serious potential. You mean, like, to find a protege or something? Indeed. There was a time when I was known as the Pocket Circuit. Yeah! Pocket. I organized Pocket Circuit tournaments across the country. Pocket Circuit is a race with tiny motorized cars, see? You could customize nearly every aspect of your machine and send it out to compete. It was as deep and complex as you wanted it to be. Uh-huh. But uh, eventually, the sport grew tired and stale. For as much as I loved it, I had mastered it to the point where it lost its thrill. You also... At the time, I was running my family's tofu business, which had gained some traction after being featured on a daytime TV spot. Then my son, who's fully fluent in English, set up an online store. Time passes, we blow up, our company goes public, and now people are eating our tofu from here to Timbuktu. Wow, his business actually went up! At that point, I thought I might as well put my business experience and passion for motorsports to use. And that's how Dragon Cart was born. Dang, you lived a hell of a yeah. life. Yeah. I took you for a pretty plain guy, but it sounds like Pocket Circuit Fighter has been doing years. so good. But isn't going from tiny little cars to real street races kind of a leap? Are you just that into driving? Maybe. When the tofu business picked up, I was swerving my delivery truck up hills and down mountains. I never felt what? <laughs> that being said, it wouldn't be very sportsmanlike to win every tournament I hosted, now would it? And even if a rising star did surface, nobody would raise me if I immediately tore them to shreds. So I decided to watch and wait for the right person. After a bit of training, I figured they could give me a good challenge. And the challenge is what I really live for. So that's what you've been doing all this time. 
Now then, I believe we have some business to take care of. Uh, I get the picture now. You pushed me into cart racing because you wanted someone to push you to the limit. That's right. And you, sir, have amazing potential as both friend and rival. You proved that on the streets. It's funny. You remind me of someone else who showed me that back in my pocket circuit days. Oh, kitty. Anyway, Kazuka-san, or rather, Ichiban-kun, will you do me the honor of facing me in the ultimate race? It's been a long time since I felt the adrenaline pounding like this. <laughs> there it is, huh? Well, how can I say no? Let's do this. You're too kind. I knew from day one you would get it. Okay, then tell me when you're ready to burn rubber. We'll tear up the road. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's do it. But next time, because it is now late, I want to go get ready for bed. Or at least for my downtime. Thank you everyone for coming by and watching. I do appreciate the time. Nick and Sean, thanks for hanging out for even the little bit of time that you guys did. Or the time you guys said, I really appreciate it there. Guys, catch me on my socials if you've gotten this far into the video. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, a lot of this is just chill time. So thanks everyone for coming by. I do appreciate it. Well, by next year, we will start again with new games. And the Yakuza games will be coming out as well. So, uh, yeah. The Yakuza games will be coming out. So be, 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 and look forward to that by the time. So thank you everyone. Good night. I will see you next time. Bye.